Jace, Jessica, and Friends, episode 54, Heat at Hernaldo's. Hernando's, Hernando's. Sorry, it's been a hot minute. But not as hot as this Heat episode is going to be. Am I right? I'm wrong? I knew it. Last time, Mimi got into a spat. That's so, all I remember, this honestly. Is what my head. King and I propose we do for our next Freedoms Infinity. Glad they got over it. We have the entire performance live streamed on like Mimi's here. social media platforms. Imagine just I don't know what her girlfriend's wearing though. Take that. could become if we gave that idea a try. You two might be onto something. That does sound like an interesting idea. But if we were to do that, we'd need help doing so. Why don't we have Amberlyn and Heatherly do it? They did used to be part of the old Five Freedoms band. Jess and I were thinking the same thing, Aurora. It's a good plan. That's also part of the reason why we invited them over to see oh. if they'd be interested. Well, if we are going to live stream our next performance live stream it. for a while, then the offer is open. So what do you say, girls? Are you willing to help us out? Yeah, I think that would be great. Hey, Amberlynn, do you think it's a good idea, too? Oh, yeah, I do think that would be a great idea. Are you looking at your quote-unquote lover on your phone again, Amberlynn? It's his entire character now. Samir? Well, again with this? Okay, look, Amberlynn, I'm not trying to sound rude here, but I'm starting to think this whole thing with having a crush on Samir is getting a little out of hand. Know, I'm right? honestly beginning to think that too. Really? Yes, really. And if we're being further honest, voicing our concerns here, this has actually been something that's been bothering both me and Aurora over the last few weeks. If it's been bothering you for that long, why didn't you guys say something to me sooner? Well, we actually did try and say something sooner. It was at Taylor's get-together at her and Stephanie's new apartment. Hmm. But we never got that chance. I mean, we could have said something. That is, if a certain someone hadn't told me to lay off. Look, Aurora, no I point. feel bad that I told you to lay off of my sister. But what my main problem was, was that you never respected Amberlyn having feelings over Samir. We're sorry that it bothers you. Well, it does. And I think in the future, if Taylor still has a brain in her head, then she needs to learn to back off and keep her smart mouth to herself. Oh, here we go. Do not call Taylor stupid. That is Carly's sister you are talking about. It may be stupid, but I just did. Carly's not even here right now to hear what I have to say. I'm not going to sit here and listen to you bash Taylor like that. Jace is so sick what of this shit he's done. What Samir have to do with Taylor in the first place? You tell me. Taylor shouldn't have spoken up. This would just simple. just be like, you know what? Let's let them fight. Maybe this is what I'm doing wrong. I keep breaking it up, and this keeps happening. Hmm. You never did anything for Amberlynn to let that Samir guy think about it first, Heatherly. You never taught her a fucking thing. Aurora, Heatherly's not entirely wrong here about the whole Taylor thing. Mimi, why can't you look out for your girlfriend and tell her that Taylor just wanted to help? Help. That's not what Taylor was doing, Amberlynn. A better question is why couldn't Taylor have a brain and just have minded her own fucking business? Maybe it was because. Stay, Stay out, out of this, Jace. Jace. Okay. Why didn't you Jace is being true now. I feel as I arrived with this bullshit. If my with me crush sometimes. on Samir was getting out of hand, <laughs> you could have said something sooner. At least me and Aurora don't live in that disgusting apartment you hoes living. Who are you calling a hoe? The two of you, obviously. No, you two are really asking yeah, for a fight. No, we're not. Shut Stop denying off. it. Oh, you two are asking for it. Bring it. That's gone far enough. Samir. All right, let's go break it up. I say it went from zero to hundred real quick, but that's the default with Mimi. Amberlin or rather, the Mimi Moonlight High, I would say, which Mimi presides over. But, but, Samir. I said leave. I'm not going says, to ask leave. you to again. Right now, this is a very hostile situation. Yeah. All right, fine. We're out of here. We're sorry for all the trouble. I'll get your shoes for you, sis. Great idea to get out. They're gone now. Are you two going to be all right? Yeah, I guess so. Sorry you had to see that. 
It's fine. Is there anything else you need me to assist you all with? I forgot Samir was a new roommate, no. so he would hear all the stuff all going right. on. Then I the second I was like, when did Samir get here? To finish making my lunch. It's Just holler lunch. if you need my help again. Good Samir to come to the rescue, though. I don't know about you guys, but Samir's right. He said it himself. That was a pretty tense situation between you two and the twins. Yep, it was. That could have escalated Shut up, Jace. into something much worse. You guys aren't wrong. And after what just happened with Heather Lee and Amber Lynn, I think I need a bit of a stress reliever. Then how about the four of us all go out and get something to eat? It is almost lunch time. Sure, I will well, be down so for you're that. still making his, so if that is what true. will help, then sure. Jessica Shut up, Chase. And I are all so every time he opens his mouth. I'll drive. I just got some new and much more comfortable seats. Don't they make some kind of farting sound when you sit on them? Ew. Well, yeah, but only if you sit on them good enough. Jace, is something the matter? Well, yeah, it has to do with that whole fight. Jess, I am sorry, but there is absolutely no way I am choosing sides between Heatherly and Ember Lynn, and Mimi and Aurora. Those four have got to make up. Mm. I know, babe. And I agree with you 100% with what you're saying. But for right now, the girls need to keep their distance from each other. And once all four of them have calmed down enough, we'll figure something out. Alright. Hey guys, are you coming or not? Sorry Mimi, got a bit distracted. Did you and Aurora decide where we're going for our meal? Yep, we sure did. We're gonna go by the chef and her on horrendous. Now this is the right place to have lunch at. Nothing beats some delicious, hot and yummy pizza. Sure has been a while since a true Jason American and I last came here to Avon Herondos. They when made that last time we did babe. Face. Gee, it must have been like, I think early February a few months ago. We were out on a Christ. double date with Carly and Marcel. Oh yeah. And wasn't that that's accurate to the IRL time. It's like, dear lord, that was only a f that was Yet back in right February. Again, the guy it feels like it was just a couple months ago. The Samir special for takeout right on out of here. The Samir special. Oh, here we go. That does have again. a nice ring to it. Avon Herando's management should consider making that an actual pizza to Why not? At the pizzeria. Oh, for sure. Just think. A pizza named right after our favorite big strong lifeguard. I can see it now. Taylor would get it every day. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Nature's calling me. Oh, I really damn. have to go bad. You and me both need me. Then you two go use the rest. You have coordinated Jason, piss takes. Here and order our pizzas. Aurora and I appreciate that, Jace. Just one thing before me and Aurora make a bolt for the restroom. When you and Jessica K order our pizzas. Make sure there is absolutely zero pineapple on either of them. Got it. Absolutely no pineapple. Now I need to move. I don't want to piss my pants. I'm right behind you, sissy. <sighs> they better hope the restroom isn't already preoccupied. It's a woman's restroom, so it will be going by stereotypes. Hello, you two. Welcome to Avon Herondos. Have we met? I feel like I know you from somewhere. I know, right? You probably do. It has been a couple years since our last encounter. The last time we did, your friend used her car to ram me and my brother off of the road. Oh, now right. You were one of those carjackers who tried to hijack oh. my friend's car while she and I were on our I'm not glad you're times. turning over a new leaf. Wait, babe. You're telling me this is one of those carjackers who tried to steal Jessica's car back in 2020? Sure is, hun. Well, technically the carjacking was my brother's idea. He just forced me to try and participate in it, as well as any other of his stupid plans trying to earn some quick cash. And you'd think, back then I also used to smoke cigarettes and give zero craps about what was going on. But all of that is behind me now. No more smoking, no more being forced to get involved with my brother's shit. Well, I'm glad All for you to turn over new leaf. The new me works here part time, and she plans to finish up high school too. Good. So are you Proud guys you. ready to order? 
Unfortunately, the chef here is still chef the chef. Johnson. Oh, but. What do you need, Brittany? I'm trying to keep up with the orders. Add two more to your list. I need a medium half cheese, half pepperoni, as well as a medium ham, and absolutely no pineapple on either of them. A half cheese, half pepperoni, and a medium ham? Gee willigers, my hands are going to break if these orders keep coming in. Just learn to suck it's a it pizza up and get place, the orders man. done. I don't need you bossing me around. You're just a 17-year-old high schooler. Yeah, 17. and you're an old man who got fired from Terry's and Boy Goys for lying to their management. Damn. That was five years ago, and still, five years later, nobody lets me live that moment down. Yeah, it's pretty believable. Finally. Every single one of these orders for dining and delivery have been made and completed. I think I have definitely had more than enough of making pizzas for the day. Oh shit, wait just a second, I completely forgot to make that last order that Brittany gave me. Damn it, what did she say that order was? Wait, I remember. It was a medium half cheese, half pepperoni, and a medium ham. And she said to add pineapple on both No, pizzas. she didn't. She said absolutely no pineapple. Where that was literally the one. Oh, damn I'm it. getting hungry. I'm sure we'll get our pizzas real soon, Mimi. It's just. The sad thing is, I can't blame the chef entirely for this one because uh, he's overworked uh, at, at his, his job. Someone, Mimi, see what the hold up is. It's understandable that there would be so no, much, you know, fine. things would slip through the really cracks. He's just one guy, yeah, I'm with and he has to do I'm all this really shit. Hungry too. I thought Could, can they hire another employee? Him. No, that's ridiculous. Cost too much money. You guys the company would go out of business. The back for God. If he did, it actually, it could just be a small him. store. So, oh, it's like this is the only one. So actually, yeah, it could drive the thing out of business. I shouldn't judge. Okay, this is ridiculous. It's been 15 minutes, and we still have no pizza. Wait another 15, and it'll be oh, free. Demon. I think your prayers have just been answered. Finally. Except there. Wait, Brittany, you didn't notice there wasn't any pineapple? There, there was pineapple on it? What the hell is this? Is something the matter, ma'am? You better believe it. There's pineapple on both of these pizzas. Jason, Jessica, I told you guys no pineapple on either pizza. I didn't order Me pineapple. Hold on. This is a big misunderstanding. Jess and I swear to you we ordered our pizzas the way you asked us to. So then explain why there's pineapple on both of them. Our chef in the back is responsible for making all of our pizzas. I can get him for you if that would help. If he made our pizza, then yes. Please get your chef so I can talk to him. Chef Johnson. What is it now, Brittany? I'm not in the mood for any more of your nonsense right now. We have a small problem. A customer is complaining about two of the pizzas that you made said that they were both made wrong. That can't be possible. For over three years working here, I have never screwed up a single pizza order in my life. Well, there's a first time Balance for everything. The table that ordered a medium half cheese, half pepperoni, and a medium ham. And when I gave you the order, I told you that they specifically requested no pineapple on either pizza. No, that can't be right, Brittany. Because I remember right before making all the other orders Why? that you told me. It was at this moment that he, he knew he, he fucked, fucked up. up. Uh oh. Why didn't you just ask Brittany for the order again, considering she seemed to remember an order from 15 minutes ago that she didn't write down? Hello, hello. That's some I photographic memory. Some kind of screw up with your pizza order. You the chef? That's right. Chef Johnson's the name. I've got a bad feeling about this. You and me both, Jess. So here's what happened. We order our pizzas, and I specifically asked for no pineapple on either of them. We waited for a long time, and then when we did get our pizzas delivered to our table, I spotted pineapple on both of them. Ma'am, I understand your frustration. I am sorry your pizza orders got screwed up. For that I take full responsibility. Please, just calm down and we can work Good something Good of him to take responsibility. Don't Florida. tell me to calm down. Excuse me, but do not raise your voice at me like that. Oh, here we go. When I am frustrated, I will raise my voice at whoever made me upset. And right now, I'm looking right at you. Mimi. Mom, please sit down and let's You're talk You're acting like a Karen. You need to calm down. 
Two things. First, stop telling me to calm down. Because when someone does tell me to calm down, especially multiple times, my frustration toward them often tends to get worse. And second, you have I'm anger annoyed problems. with something from earlier, so I wanted to come here for lunch as a stress reliever. But clearly, that wasn't a good idea. Sure sounds to me like that's your problem, not mine. Now I suggest that you sit down. Immediately. Okay, sit down. Okay. That hurt. You, plenty more Chef, you constantly egging her on was not the wise thing to do. You know what? You young lady have just made a terrible mistake. I am getting my manager and having you kicked out of our Ben Herandos. No, wait, even better. I am going to file a police report and will have you sued for assault. I mean, I mean you could do that. Except for one little detail you left out. What? You raised your fist at me, so I kicked you in self-defense. Self-defense? Yeah, right. Well, that We work. all know that's not what just happened. In your eyes, maybe not. But I disagree, cause if someone raises their fist at me just like how you did, I'm going to defend myself. Okay, well then you can have fun. That depends on how the judge the decides it is. I'm calling them right now. Yeah, right. This is coming from a chef who doesn't know how to cook correctly. Don't you disrespect and my cooking skills. You're really going to stand here, argue with me, and look like a fool like in front of my friends of and a whole <laughs> dining room of people. How mature. I could say the same thing back to you. Well, as the old saying goes, your actions always have a way of catching up with you. This changes nothing. I'm really Hello, Pot. Hello, Kettle. You're black. We'll be getting both you and your friends kicked out of here. Wrong. We won't get kicked out. We'll see about that. You're talking to one of the best chefs in town. And his name is... Chef Johnson. Yep. Oh no. You that controller is showing up. Explaining to do. Gladly. This woman threatened to beat the crap out of me. And she assaulted you? Because from the office, I heard shouting, which sounded an awful lot like you. That, and Brittany is telling me your attitude today has been unprofessional. To say the least. He's exhausted because he you gave him so sir. much work to do. To make matters even worse, he badly screwed up me and my friends' pizza orders. Did he now? Look, I know it's part Don't of the job, but it's also like you can have some the sympathy. Story. Save it, Johnson. You can tell me what happened in my office and also be ready to explain why I shouldn't fire you. Do you understand? I was assaulted? But first, before you are sent to my office, you're going to remake the pizzas this table ordered that you screwed up. Okay. I can do that. I'm deeply sorry for the trouble, ma'am. We will make it up to you and your group. It's all right. And please, call me Mimi. Let's go, Johnson. So when the chef apologizes, it's World War Three. but when the owner apologizes... Well, it looks it's like everything good. worked itself out. We get our pizzas remade, that chef is getting in trouble. And the best part, Mimi, you literally asked to speak with the manager in a sense. And all four of us are not getting kicked out. We'll still need to wait though for our pizzas to be fully remade, Mimi. That's fine, just as long as that Chef Johnson doesn't screw up again, or else he'll answer to me. No one wants to answer to you, Mimi. No one. Mimi says exactly what she wants, when she wants to, and you cannot stop her from saying it no matter what. She has entirely her own way of doing things, and you can't get in that way, or else you'll be taking down a peg. Which is true to some people in life. I mean, some people are in their own world, and you're not going to get them out of it no matter how hard you try. And for the record, when I'm saying all this about Mimi, I'm talking about the character, not the person of Mimi. I'm just tr thinking about her character. Now, Mimi says that there's a lot of herself in the character of Moonlight Mimi. Well, I didn't mean it that way. Hey, I just meant it as in the character. I don't know. This is one where it's <laughs> I kind of more on Jace's side of this story. Just like, I just kind of want to stay out of this. No matter how much I'm throwing fists in my own regards, <laughs> I want to stay out of this. I say while well, constantly fucking doing side hits like that. <laughs> I swear, I'm the freaking. 
I'm the third wheel. I want to be out of this entire discussion. As I beat the crit. <laughs> as, in, as I'm clearly in the... F I'm like... Uh, you get the idea. I don't need to make another analogy. <laughs> Oi. Anyway. It was good to not see another episode of Yan, though. Mimi is not a perfect character, but it's good that she isn't that way because that means she has flaws that she can overcome. And hopefully she can overcome this rage side of her. Where she kind of just lets her emotions take control. I understand and why she's like that, especially with the backstory and all that jazz. But it's something she clearly needs to overcome. Which is fair. I mean, we all have our own rage. Sometimes rage overcomes us all. And sometimes we're all just done with everything and want to just lash at the world. Rage is a bear is a bad thing, of course, but it's good to let it out every once in a while. And I kind of just lost my original point of, now that I realize I'm halfway through saying that. But you know, it's something you need to keep in control. It's something I need to keep in control because I've been losing it far too often these past few days. Fortunately, not on the work shifts. <laughs> Thank goodness. Life is short. Have some cake. Go ahead and check out, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.